Hi guys, and welcome back to episode 58 of the Raid series. So, um, I'm going to try and get a few done today, and hopefully we'll be able to get a good rhythm happening. I, I like it when I can film a few in a row. Um, we'll turn the generators on for a sec, and uh, get some of these updates happening. Illumination level 3, so that's going to be actually really handy. We have water collection level 2, which should lead to um, sanitary or laboratory level 3. Uh, we're going to def definitely this one up straight away. So, how many do we need? Oh, six. Six of these. One. Six. Um, F5 is to refresh the flea market. I look at that question a fair bit. Fine. That's something we've got to do a little bit. That's upgrading to laboratory three. Um, I think we need laboratory three to get. We did the med station as well, didn't we? Days there. Um, I feel we need laboratory three for. Do this upgrade. Fix radius. Cool, that's upgrading. So we've got a lot of the high-end upgrading now. So we've got that at three, going up to three. This one's not going to get done anytime. Generator three is going to take a little bit. We need vent and security three. Um, got that now. So we could actually start security three. We are, uh, which, which is this one? Idea. Is it fast disk? I think it is. One of the one of the fast drive or something. Oh. Uh, something like a drive or ha uh, to SSD. I think it's SSD. Doing it is. All right, so we need six of these. Wires. You can just type four, but the amount of times it gets like, so I thought it was already spelled out. It shits me, I don't bother with that anymore. Cool. Um, so that's that one upgrading. We need vent to level three, uh, which is we need strength three. So we've got a bit to go on that one. Uh, we can try and throw some grenades every time we get an opportunity to. Not too worried about getting the stash up to the next level. Um, we just don't need the space at the moment. But we've got all these upgrading now. Generator 3. Wait until we get that strength level 3. But I think we're pretty good now. There's the laboratory 3 that we needed. That's why that's upgrading. That will get our nutrition to 3. Intelligence Center, we've already got the med to level three now, so we just need uh, Nutrition three and Security three, which is upgrading. So we can actually upgrade that to the next level, and then that would get us the opportunity to get um, Bitcoin farm. So happy days with that. Let's just have a quick look on what we're still gonna need for the air filtering. Um, vents three, generator three. Generator three obviously needs the security and the vents. So but we're gonna have to do a little bit of work on strength and that. But that is that done. Now peacekeeper. Uh we finished the peacekeeper quest they gave us a factory key. And therapist, we've got a few items back from insurance. So I might just chuck all these straight on and we might just go back straight into interchange. And that will give us the opportunity to um work on that. Uh the task that we've been doing already, the decontamination service. Hold on to this one for now. It's so much better now that we've got a little bit extra space as well. 
Um, keep working on trying to get into the med station when we an opportunity as well. Um, we'll have a quick look. I can't remember if we have a factory key already. It's not a bad key to hold on to when you do have one. Be in the customs. That there. So we'll hold on to that. Now all we need to do is grab some more M4 ammo. Which I think... Out. So we'll have a look. We can buy... Actually, cheap. Because if you buy 100... Oh, no, nah, it's cheaper to buy it from from uh, Peacekeeper. All right, so we've got plenty of ammo there. That, take that there, that there, and we're good. All right, so we've got everything we need to do more scav killing. I think we need, what, one more from Chumming? Uh, so we need three more cans. Uh, we need definitely need one more from Chumming, uh, which is the one more PMC. I know we have some fuel conditioners can support, so we can check those. We've got the uh, surviving interchange. we got one of the 100 meter headshots, which is nice. And then uh, killing scavs from under 60 meters. Anything extra will be a bonus. I don't think there's any actual loot items we need to worry too much about besides the Tushonka. And uh, we'll just keep an eye on for that. Flash drives, we can actually look at the computers as well um, to find a flash drive. Cool. Vitality, we still need. Oh, we nearly at next level of vitality. Two deaths, I think. Probably two to three deaths, and we'll be that. So, always the positives to dying. Getting that other stuff done. All right, let's get into a raid. And we could do the morning, which should be just about daytime. And uh, we'll get into. Uh, we might be able to get that one more PMC kill for chumming. All right, let's crack into the raid. All right, so. One PMC. Horrible spawn. Oh, I hate this spawn. Did I bring... Oh, enough med. I really don't like this spawn. I actually kind of want to move on my right, just a touch. That should be better. Just keeping an eye up on that top bit right there. Someone might spawn in. Or it's spawned in. At the same time. So luckily now, we could actually just go to Goshen and get the Tashonka. And that way we're winning, even if we die. Three Tashonka. Another thing we can do is actually check the computer in for a flash drive. We might do that real quick as well. So, there's a lot of rooms with our computers in it that people just never check. So... Two rooms right here. What we're looking at for is actually the, the front of the computer for the flash drive sticking out of them. We don't need to actually check inside all the computers. You can loot them all if you're really wanting to. Um, but I don't really do what we need to just yet. Like, you'd, if you're searching inside the computer, you're looking for graphics cards or whatever items are really popular at the time. This time of the wipe, like we're pretty late in the wipe now, so we're not really going to be finding too many items that are going to be of high value. Um, unless you're, like, obviously trying to level up yourself and then, you know, you've got your CPUs, fans, cords. A lot of items you can actually get that you need for quests, so you can, you can do it, like, you can use that as your option.
that was a player, 100%. Not ideal. We're in a bad position. We're stuck in a hallway. We've got nowhere to retreat to. I don't know how much he heard me. It did sound like he was just running past. I'm hoping he just ran past. Bit of a shit situation because you could easily camp this door on the right. Well, he's a bit oblivious at the moment, so. I'm fairly confident that door doesn't go anywhere. bathroom. I'm shot a grenade right now. Well, that's chumming done. Looks like he was doing, uh, oh no, it's an ADA. Oh no, I think he was doing de decontamination at the same time. I don't know how much I'm excited for this. The armor really doesn't give any protection at all. I could just toss my armor here, take his. We get really desperate. We'll take you, but he's ammo. Looking really desperate. Oh, that's chumming done. I'm going to go down and try and kill the two scavs that are down below. Star here. Oh, don't seem to be here. Honestly, I don't know how much I can wear that. It's so brutal. My mouse uh, cord it's annoying me. Used a fair bit of ammo with that mag then, so I just didn't want to. Uh... I want to continue on without at least topping it up a little bit. Now, if I could get upstairs and check out the, um, ultra medical room, that'd be great. I saw from the last episode how, how well it can work to make you money. Um, another really good spot that a, people, a lot of people just absolutely just forget or don't care about is, um, right down the back. I just want to check for these uh, flash drives. So there's two computers in each of these cubicles. Like, you're looking at the front of them. 
But yeah, down this back corner here, I seem to get the, like, the water purify filter things all the time. That's all. That sounds like it's all like upstairs by the uh, ultra medical room. We'll let them all fight it out. There's a player hiding. I'm guessing if I had to put any money on it, I'm guessing he was on top of that scaffolding. There's a spot you can sit on top of the scaffolding and get pretty much obs over the whole of uh Ollie. So he's probably just sitting up top there. Watching, waiting. We've got chumming done at least, so. And we'll get most of that stuff back. We'll probably go and get the uh, the site back, but pretty much all the gear was worthless, so. That's the kind of the good thing about that the task is the gear shit. <laughs> so you get the money, you get it always, you always get it back. But we got chumming done though, so we can hand that in. Stress resistance gonna take a little while. Uh, kill twenty scats with shotguns, and ten PCs with twelve gauge shotguns, and then bullshit. This task is a brutal. This will be a whole episode and a half to try and get it done. Um, bit of, bit of RNG, bit of luck, and. Well, a bit of RNG and a lot of luck to get it done. Or you just hide in the corner for friggin' ever. Um, I try and stack this up with doing another task, which is uh the It's the one after the Grenadier. So I might might just leave it like that for now. We might get a couple done, but oh, I should have put that in there. Whoops. Um, but yeah, we'll work towards that. Alright, so we're gonna go back in there. There's the gold chain. The, the roll before it. Um, I'm going to go back in there. And that's why I was holding on to those shotguns. Cool. So, um, heal up. We'll grab another helmet. Need 3M armor. It doesn't need to be full, by the way. And then... Uh, what gun am I going to use? Use AK-103. Oh, that. Yes. It's not a bad ammo. The target's scabs anyway. Do we have any other ammo sitting around? You could probably buy this ammo cheaper on the flea market. Preppers at 80. Ah. Charging battery. Oh, charging battery, everyone. Right, and uh, you can get mags from here. Oh, that's that done. That there. We've got some meds here. We don't need that anymore. And respirator. If oh, I don't think I'm gonna get this quest done on this uh on this episode, but uh, my next episode won't be an uh, decontamination episode. Um, but I, I like to try and do a couple in a row where I'm do a couple raids in a row doing the same things when it's like a task like this to actually work towards getting it done. Um, we can actually do... Ooh, let's just do daytime. Get into it. Anyway, let's crack into it. All right, here we go again. We don't need to worry about killing players at all. So probably try and not avoid players, but just... Oh, uh, this is going to be shit. All right, so we've got two options here. Go right and definitely fight players. Go left and most likely fight players. If I go left, at least I can hug the right wall once I get in there. But there's definitely going to be players down that corner. And then another one's coming over from over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go inside and then turn right straight away. Hopefully avoid the players on the left. Fill two scavs and then I don't really know what I'm going to do from there. 
I want to get over to Goshen and try and get some Tashonka. There will be players coming across there nearly 100%. We could sit all oh, this. What did I say? Fucking hell. It's almost like I've played this game before, guys. He's gone up. Remember, we're trying to kill scaps. Either of them. Fuck. A 3M armor on. <laughs> he was coming straight for me. I don't know what gear, gear he had on, but he was definitely sweaty. I think he had a vowel as well. Unfortunately, we're at that point of the white where all we run into is AS Vals. It's actually like kind of shit. It's been a, a big talking point about how the AS Val and the VSS is pretty much all everyone's using at the moment with slick armor and, and that. So, um, this decontamination mission, which trying to use 3M armors and, and that, is actually just, just lame. Respirator. So. I'm going to try to get into Goshen. Um, I'll try and take in... Wish I had Peacekeeper 3. So close to it. I just bought $1,900. Now I can get ammo. The 190 ammo with the uh, 57 is actually really good at the moment. Don't know what else is in this, but what we use. Um, yeah, it's really good at the moment. So I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that. I want to take a backpack. And we're just gonna do a bit of a loot run slash kill scavs. Now, nighttime interchange isn't really much different to daytime inside, so we're going to go with that. We can kill some scavs, it's a bonus, but let's see what we can get out of the raid. Hopefully, we'll be better than the last two, really. All right, we're in. Late spawn. Minute late. Which could be good. People might already be inside, or they'll just be camping me as they go up the ramp, so. Yes. Can't win either way. My hope is all players are already inside and we'll have two scavs to kill on the outside. on the outside here. Nope. Right, we're going to go to Goshen. Goshan. Get out to Shonka. Or at least I'm going to try.
Weevils? There is someone shooting at me. I got a Goshen. We're going for it. I don't know where they shot at me from. But. Put around this corner. Pop this. And we continue on. done now we go for the flash drives oh the alarm's been pressed go for the ultra medical key room as well flash drive there and there nope nope Go upstairs. I, I got a feeling someone's already going to be there. Hundred percent. Um, we don't really need to eat that food, but almost want to. But reload just in case. So, yeah, we look. There's more shots in Ollie. Is there someone camping it? I don't want to just go for it, you know? Spending too much time will result in someone getting there first anyway. Ooh. Definitely sure I'm at the top of the escalator. We could go up behind him. He's over there, last time I saw him. No way he heard me. Oh, there's something down there. Imagine if we could sneak behind this guy. Oh, he's gone. He's just a little pistoling. <laughs> That's a pistoling right there. <laughs> Come on, 
look this way. I don't know if you'll friend me. To crack up. You never just know where someone is, you know? He must have been shitting himself when they threw that grenade, though. Alright, let's go back and look at, um. Let's go this way. What we want to do here is we want to go for, um. Flash drives. Gabs and flash drives. Kill her down there. Yep. I don't think I can kill Killer with a 5 7. Be unlikely. Very unlikely. What I want to do is I'm going to run over here. I'm going to um, my aim is to go down to the computer store down below, and then from there I want to go um, from there I want to go to uh, what do you call it? Not computer store. Sorry, uh, go to the computer room down below. Search those computers. And then, I don't know, we might go power station. might try and kill Killer if I can get a fully automatic gun. <clears throat> Put some scavs. Some options. Good to know that Killer is up and we could grab his gear. May have already been looted. Nope. I'll go through Goshen again, see if I can get a couple of scabs there. Slowly push over to killer. I'd much rather go for killer and lose three M armor and a five seven, which I'll get back from insurance anyway. Have over here. Shots on kills, legs. Works pretty well. We go between the two of these. Reload that. That stopped up. AKS-74U with 10 round mags. Probably not ideal. Four key, easy money. Flint, we actually need that. I know where Killer is. Make them work for it. Those are the uh, three man squad. I 
I left this door open or not? The reason why I used the uh, the shotgun then. I could have tried to creep up on them again, but I was kind of wanted to do it, either distract them a little bit, try and chip away at their armor, or get a couple of pellets into their face shield, or help slow them down, you know? Get lucky with face tap. Oh, that's, a, that's a player, but I don't know if it's a player scab or not. Lucky we could bait killer to us, kill him. Oh, what? What I'm doing here is I'm setting up. A quick grab and grab and dash. One's there, one's right there. I shot him point blank in the head! <laughs> well enough. Only these guys knew how much I've been toying with them. Should have used the 5.7. He would have shot himself. I have nothing to gain from this fight, but now I'm just having fun. Like, imagine if I had a Mosin then. I think that's a Mosin on the ground there. He's got a Mosin. I don't know what that gun is. K seventy four N.
And we know one jumped up on the box, so he's most likely up there somewhere. None of them know what the fuck's going on. Well, that mag there is worth bank. Got 7 and 39 in it. I don't really know what I want to do here, to be honest. Trip it for parts. But keep the killer armor. Ammo's in this. For the night. Oh, fuck me. I'm not going to be taking everything. I was, I was trying to grab everything to move to a uh, secure location to loot.
could just take all of this, because that's enough. I go to, I've got enough cash as well, I could go out the, uh, the car extract. Not too phased about BPMO, we could drop that. If this is all BS, I'm taking it. All the BS ammo. Take a minute to unload all this stuff. Then I'll go. Go. Yes, we'll keep. And some of the mags might have had half BT, half BS, but I'm not that phased right now. If we're going to be throwing those grenades. Keep that. If we saw water, did I not pick that up? I need to throw all these grenades. Don't need the Mosin ammo anymore. Uh, we could top up one of these mags. See if anything else is in there. I don't think there will be. Take that. Put that in. There for now. Yeah, I could easily just unload that, get the 95 rounds of 7N39. I don't know how much I really want to take with me at the moment. To be honest, to reduce weight, I'm going to keep the pistol. I want to um, get a run. That's everything we want to keep. Are you joking? Maybe you heard the ammo on ticking. Wow. How? After all of that. Well, fast extract. Holy. Holy moly. That sucks. He came across. He looked at. He went across the bodies, and then he ran back through that, that other store. I quickly looted, and then I moved to the back there. He must have heard the unticking bits, like the me un unloading the mags. But at the same time, I can't believe um, I didn't hear a single thing of him coming across, and I was wearing contacts. I was wearing high sports. The last thing I heard was the, the footstep before I died. Far out. That just sucks. I'm going to say it. Where is the audio? That just sucks. I did everything perfect up until that point. Obviously, I could have ran away further, but... It's what it is. Well, we got the Tashonka. We had some fun. Definitely had some fun. That should be uh, full 7 and 39, so... <laughs> we went in with 5-7. <laughs> Got all these stacks. Did Lucky die? Killed him. Lucky died died to Polaris. I killed that guy. He died to a scav. I killed that guy. So these two died to a grenade. So oh, we we made money on that. It's just yeah. Just still funny. Anyway, guys, that's it for that episode. That was good fun, but still a bit amazed. I heard nothing until the very last moment. With the, with the, with the contacts on, with the high sports on, not a single noise. And like he, he sprinted that last step 
Which I don't know. I don't know if that was a smart move because he could have creeped right up by the sounds of it and shot me as I was there. But and I kind of put. I thought I put myself far enough away to make sure there was no one able to get me from. Like you know, like if he was someone was to move past that main area, there was the generator. Like that generator is loud as fuck. So I don't actually know. That's just. I, he's not cheating, by the way. I don't think he's cheating at all. Because if he was cheating, he would have killed me so much earlier. Uh, I know there's people who probably think something like that, but God's guaranteed that guy was not doing anything sus. Um, it was just, I got unlucky. I think the tick, 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 tick noise would have been really loud. And um, and that was the thing that got me killed. Because if I was just sitting there just moving stuff around like I was, wouldn't have been a single noise. That I know unloading mags, you can be heard. Loading and unloading mags, so... I did a fair bit of that. That's the only thing I, I did that made would have made noise whilst I was sitting there. And it's, I guess that's the only way he could have found me. Because, or he tracked me going, he saw me going in there. But, weird. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching that episode. That was, that was an interesting one. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for future content. I do stream on Twitch every day of the week. Go down the link below. Give me a follow there. If you have any talk or questions, feel free to hit my live stream or down in the comments below. And lastly, I'll see you next time. Oh, we oh, we oh, oh, we oh, we oh. Is that from Wizard of Oz?